Hi all and welcome. Today's video is from the memory lane of 2018 when we took a trip to the beautiful Caucasian country of Georgia. One of the first place we went to was Jiwari Monastery which is around 20 kilometers from Tbilisi overlooking the old town of Machketa and the confluence of two rivers Matkaveri and Argavi It is a 6th century Georgian Orthodox monastery listed as a world heritage by UNESCO since 1994 The church is still used for prayers and many other celebrations Our next stop was the Svetitskovly Cathedral in the town of Machketa. Machketa was the capital of Georgia before moving to Tbilisi. This is also recognized by UNESCO as World Heritage Center and the second largest church building in all of Georgia. It is known as the burial site for Christ's mantle and throughout the centuries cathedral served as a burial place for many kings. It is still among the most venerated places of worship in the region. Continuing our journey to further north, we came across this beautiful and serene Jinwali water reservoir. Its water is gorgeous turquoise colors and gives such breathtaking views, especially with all the fall colors. Our next stop was Ananuri Fortress. It was a castle structure that had faced numerous battles. It's supposed to have a secret tunnel to the river below which is kept hidden to protect its people during the siege.
There is also a small church inside the castle which is still in service. Our last stop for the day was the rock-hewn town of Uplistsikhe. I guess I am pronouncing the name right, which is also called as the Fortress of God. It is a remarkable landmark structure dating from early Iron Age to late Middle Ages and is notable for its unique styles of rock-cut culture and coexistence of pagan and Christian architecture. The structures are connected by tunnels and few of them are used as emergency escape route which leads right to the Metcavery River. On the way back, we had the most amazing sight of a full double rainbow. Passing through the city of Gori, the birthplace of the Soviet leader Joseph Stalin, we made our way to the town of Kutaisi. We spent the night in a hotel overlooking the Gelati Monastery in the village. But we were in no mood for another monastery and went for a morning stroll exploring the beautiful village, looking at all the fruits and animals. The second day was all about exploring the beautiful nature in Georgia. Our first stop was Prometheo Caves. It is a karst cave which is in around total of 11 kilometers out of which 1 kilometer is open for the tourists. The museum displayed few artifacts collected from the caves. The cave is located around 40 meters below the sea level.
It's famous for its beautiful stalactite and stalagmite formations, which are colorfully lighted. It feels kind of spooky, but also very interesting. There is also an underground river that is part of the cave system and the temperature remains a constant of 14 to 50 degrees celsius and humidity of nearly 95 percentage throughout the year which helped in these formations. Our next destination was the Martvili Canyon, which was the whole point of coming to Kutaisi. It has a beautiful boat trail through the canyons. It gives stunning views of small waterfalls. Some places are shallow while others are deep enough to dive into the, and the water is so clear you can see the bottom. The canyon became popular in 2010 when a state university visited to study the probable dinosaur's footprints. The total length of the canyon is around 2.5 kilometers. The other side of the canyon is made into a hiking trail where you can trek for 1 kilometers or so.
which gives breathtaking views of multi-level waterfalls and gorgeous turquoise water and the canyon. On the way back to Tbilisi, we were crossed by a herd of horses running around and enjoying the afternoon sun. The third and the final day was spent in exploring the city of Tbilisi. We started in the Peace Bridge. It is a bow-shaped pedestrian bridge made of steel and glass across the Kura River. The bridge leads to a park from where you can take a cable car to the top where the Lady of Georgia is. We took the trail down to the old city looking at all the sulfur baths, Lovelock Bridge which leads to a waterfall inside the city. We walked around the city a bit making memories of a beautiful country. Georgia is a fascinating country which was once part of former Soviet Union. It has so many beautiful places to see, out of which we had to pick few based on our time, interest and our roots. We still missed a lot of cool places though and I have tried my best to make the video out of pictures as there were only few videos. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Until the next time, stay safe, take care and bye bye.